Do you want the government tracking everything you do 24 hours a day? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. No one in their right mind would want Uncle Sam to be able to keep tabs on everything you do during the day. That's what's becoming a reality in China, thanks to ever more pervasive cameras and tracking devices. Authorities, for instance, are using facial recognition technology to identify the protesters of China's insane pandemic lockdown measures, who will now face the wrath of this dictatorial regime. Every step to such a state of affairs should obviously be resisted. That's why people who want to preserve as much privacy as practical should oppose a possible new regulation from the Transportation Department. The rule would mandate that every commercial vehicle involved in interstate commerce have an electronic device that would transmit location data as well as other information to the police on demand. This data could be had without a warrant. Advocates say such a rule would help law enforcement track truckers suspected of engaging in nefarious activities. But this raises a basic constitutional question. Aren't law enforcement officials supposed to get a warrant for probable cause to engage in this kind of constant monitoring? The trucking industry is subject to plenty of regulation already in terms of records and inspections. But it's not just trucks. Such mandates have been applied in other areas. Jared McLean of the Institute for Justice writing for the Reason Foundation notes that, quote, the Commerce Department compels all charter boats in the Gulf of Mexico to install tracking devices, end of quote. By the logic of the Transportation Department, we could be required to wear ankle bracelets, have our homes constantly surveilled by drones, have all stores, bars, restaurants, and places of entertainment, offices and streets record our movement with surveillance cameras. Some of this is already happening. As McLean warns, quote, as new technologies make it easier to collect and analyze data, the government will be tempted to prioritize efficiency over privacy, end quote. We must all be vigilant in preserving the privacy that was guaranteed in the Constitution of the United States. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.